I'm sharing my perspectives on the five reasons I like the Notion app more than using a browser. I think obviously this is a total preference thing for anyone watching this video, but I think the browser has some awesome functions as well. My own perspectives around why I like the Notion over just using a browser. I've been relying on Google Chrome for most of my time using a browser on my computer. And so obviously everyone has their browser of choice. And so I am just comparing my experience with Google Chrome and my experience using the Notion app for a little over a year and probably closer to two years. But let's get started. I think the first thing I'll mention are key commands. I think all these key commands are pretty universal across most internet browsers. All of these commands I've been able to use transferably within the Notion app by using the same commands I would on Google Chrome. So if I do Control N, for example, I'll create a new page. If I do Control Shift N, I can create a new window within the Notion app and then brings me to that same page I was just on. If I close it, still on the same page. Control T is adding in like a new tab, but you're just doing it within the app. Control T and then to sort of remove tabs, Right. Once you're done using them, you can do control W like you would within a Google Chrome tab. And then obviously if you make a big mistakes like deleting all this, you can do control Z. And I, like I've mentioned in previous videos, control shift Z. If you want to undo and undo, that's a really great way to reverse it. And then obviously control F, we all know how to find things by now, I hope, but that's a very effective way. And I think very transferable way that you can take advantage of the Notion app. So I think the browser is really nice, but I think something that can easily happen when you're using an internet browser, using Notion on there, you might get distracted by other tabs or other windows, and it's really easy for perhaps your tab to get buried. And I think the Notion app provides a very similar experience to a browser, but because it's native to Notion, I think there are a lot of advantages to being able to add tabs and windows like I just did through the key commands. And then similar to like you would navigate tabs, you have the option of clicking on this plus button to add additional tabs. And if you hover over, you close them out by clicking as well. And I think what's also really helpful is the ability to quickly switch between workspaces and shared spaces instantaneously. And if you create a new tab, for example, I were to sort of switch to a different dashboard, I can easily do that. And then when I click on a new tab, it'll open a new tab, which is identical to that new workspace you opened. And then you can also quickly change that to this. And again, if we have a new tab, we're duplicating the same view that we just created within that workspace. Now I can be four different workspaces within a single window on a Notion app. Obviously, I know you could probably just duplicate the tabs and do something similar within Windows, but I do think this ability to quickly open various tabs in different workspaces is incredibly powerful if you are regularly helping people or being shared information through other people's workspaces. Like I've shared in previous videos and examples, huge fan of the right click. And especially when it comes to right clicking on a tab that you have open in Notion, there's a lot that you can do. That's a sort of screenshot of what you can do. And I'll show you that real quick. You can just hover over and you can right click on it and you can copy the link. You can refresh the tab, and duplicate the tab, you can move tab to a new window, very helpful. You can close tabs and then you can do these other functions as well. But now if I wanna just move tab to a new window and then I wanna put this side by side, I can quickly do that and take advantage of my full screen by seeing pages side by side. In this case, you won't have to go back if I'm trying to look at old YouTube video examples or if I'm trying to look at something else while I work on another thing. This is very helpful. Like a window, you can just kind of shrink it or expand it and that's really helpful as well. The right click, especially when it comes to when you have more than one tab and you want to manipulate them, it's a really, really easy way to go about doing that. Obviously, I have a very biased perspective because I've created templates created YouTube videos, done a lot of other things on Notion. But I think when you have everything centered within the app, I think you are automatically creating less distractions for yourself by not having your Notion work be next to other internet searches, other websites you have open, so on and so forth. And I think when you create extra Notion windows or tabs, you can really center everything that you're creating and you're doing versus stuff maybe that you're consuming or reading. And I think it's a really easy, intuitive, simple way to create less distractions for yourself by focusing your time on the Notion app and creating from scratch, utilizing templates, being inspired by the emptiness of a Notion page, if that, you know, is something that works for you. Sometimes that works for me. And again, 
I think the last point that I already sort of applied and showed was the access to different workspaces with ease. If you're sharing with many people, there's a really easy way to go about clicking on any of these people. It's a workspace and quickly jumping to it. And then when you combine it with new tabs and new windows, everything becomes a slice of cake. It's very simple, but very efficient and very easy. I wanted to look at another workspace that I was working on, for example, and I wanted to look at it or sort of center it while I'm working on a different document in a different workspace. That becomes a lot easier to do so, navigate within the Notion app. Some might argue that you can do everything within the browser view, and I think that's probably possible with the key commands and just generally duplicating tabs and such but this is just sort of my simple stupid take on the way I like to approach using the Notion app and what aspects I like more than the conventional internet browser. Thanks for tuning in and like and subscribe and thanks for watching.